this is the price you pay for being along the river and we, we get that. The first Douglas County residents prepare for the rising river to greet them at their front door. Well, despite road closures and the flood threatening homes, some people plan to stick it out. Good evening, I'm Candace Crone. And I'm Dave Roberts. Sunday night in the Missouri River greets the residents of Northeast Douglas County. The first people affected live along Pershing Drive and North River Road, some with houses built right in the floodplain. Today we discover some residents plan to hold their ground as the river pushes inland. Where the cool, clear spring water meets the muddy Missouri. There's a risk with, with being, being by the river. The Dudas call home and have for a long time. My whole life so far. Since the 1930s, in fact. And a little water, in this case, a lot of water, isn't pushing them out. Unlike the public roads, where they have to shut off access as soon as the water gets on the road, you know, we can keep driving on it as long as we want. Brothers Claire and Jim Duda both live on the property, 90% of which is now underwater. It's sad, uh, certainly. Um, by the same token, uh, we'll survive. This is, <laughs> you're in Nebraska. We, we can take it. The family farm might not. The murky mess threatens to drown massive trees, some dating back to the Civil War. There are some 150-year-old oaks we have around here that I don't know how they will stand up to months of, of standing water. The land's been here a whole lot longer than I have. It, it always has a tendency to come back. Within the next two days, the only way home will be by boat or tractor. To the Dudas, it's worth it, being able to sleep at home for the summer. Like others along the Missouri River, the Dudas also want to stay home to prevent looting, a crime already encountered by deputies just a few miles north in Washington County.